Avengers! Assemble. Welcome back to the channel. It's the Avengers here, guys, and welcome back to another Marvel Future Fight video. And today we're finally getting into the level 70 Transcended Mantis review with their brand new uniform. Apologies for this video being so late, guys. I was really low on bios. I really killed myself by um, upgrading Star Lord's uh, uniform all the way to Mythic. It took up all my bios um, that I have saved up for him. It didn't leave me with much bios for everyone else, but don't worry. I started playing Shadowland at least stage 35 every week now. So we should be decently good on Biles. We got tons saved up here now for Groot and Gamora. Um, and we'll start building them up uh, so we can upgrade these characters quicker. Um, but we're here with the level 70 Transcendent Review, like I said. Um, I've heard good things about her. But before we get into it, let's look at her um, build. So normal uniform, you got 180 recovery proc. Um, I couldn't get higher than a 180 on anything else. We got stage 7 Hawk's Eye, uh, rank 3 type enhancement um blast um max skills obviously uh mediocre uh urus and then her stats here she's got max crit rate um she's close to max crit damage and then she still needs a little ways for attack speed um but yeah that's the build basically um pretty much the only thing that i do better for her is maybe give her a proc that has um some crit damage on it but they're all lower procs at 140 and whatnot um so i just wanted to give her the 180 proc to see how well she does. So let's get straight on into this. We got Null Stage 9. Of course, we're going into World Boss Legend. She has no uh, value in PvP. So that's why we're doing uh, some PvE testing instead. I've heard she's pretty good, actually. Some decent damage. Um, and she's really tanky. So I decided that I'm going to take her into Gore um, after this fight and another fight. Um, because I've heard that she's so um, tanky. So I thought it would be actually interesting to test out. And there we go. Her transcendent rotation does there about 19 bars. That's pretty good. Now, look, guys. I'm not going to recommend her um, because she's not a level 80. And, obviously, level 80 is the meta nowadays. So, she's probably... I mean, that's still really good. Holy cow. 25 second clear of the first phase. So, she has good damage and whatnot. But, like I said, anything she does, a level 80 will be able to do better. Um, so, I can't really, like, recommend her to you guys at all. Um, but, I mean, if you're just looking for a character to have fun with, um, who's pretty tanky and has some high damage, she might be the right character for that. There we go. A little, um, delay there on the proc. We're gonna try and pop the crop to squeeze this out. And we did. Nice. Hopefully she doesn't die in the background there, because I can hear her taking damage. Nope, she's good. She, she tanks it. She tanks that all day. And, yeah, pretty good timing here. We're barely a minute in. Um, so her rotation is 5, 3, 4, regular rotation, you have to have a little bit of delay so she gets some of her skills off, and then the transcendent rotation is the exact same thing, except you're starting off with the 6, then into the 5, 3, 4. So yeah, pretty, fairly simple. Like I said, you got a little, like, second delay after each, uh, skill you press, you can't just insta-cancel, so you make sure you get all the damage. Um, and here we go, last 6 bars, like I said, she's blasting her way through this. Oh, get it? She's a blast. She's blasting like this. Anyways, there you go. Enough of the corny jokes. We get the stage done within a minute and 26 seconds. Stage 9 clear. Star-Lord lead and Shuri support. So yeah, it's it's not bad, guys. She she can clear um pretty well. So now it's up it a notch. Let's go to Mephisto stage 14 here with the same exact team, um, but obviously the next World Boss Legend up. So let's see how she can do. We're going to bring in uh, the Fire Resist from uh, Ghost Rider. Uh, just in case, but like I said, she's pretty tanky, so she should be just fine. Um, she honestly, if Star-Lord was as tanky as her, he would you wouldn't even need the tier 4 for Star-Lord, but uh, unfortunately, he's not as tanky as her. Um, but yeah, I mean, it definitely makes her stand out compared to Rocket and Star-Lord. In this update alone, she's definitely the tankiest of the three, because I mean, she's just sitting in the... Look, I'm just sitting in the Toxic Waste, and she's just automatically healed. We got hit a little bit there, but I also wasn't popping the skills. Now that we popped the heal, she's completely healed. So yeah, see what I mean? She's just super tanky, especially when you compare her to 
um, Rocket Raccoon and Star Lord. So yeah, I think she slept on, but I still wouldn't recommend her because obviously any blast level eighty is going to do uh, this stuff faster than her um, by a long shot. Um, still a pretty good character though, and she does have a uh, passive support as well, which we'll look at right after this fight. And then uh, we'll have our final test run, which will be against um, Gore. I love the animations, especially too when she pops uh, her transcended rotation, because then you get Nebula coming in to fight, and Drax, and you got like this actual transcended um, skill, which is pretty nice. And we're, we're cruising through this, guys. I mean, it's not the fastest, but we're still just cruising through it like nothing. We're a minute and 15 seconds in, and we're in the second phase of the fight with 13 bars left, so it's pretty nice. All right, come over here, Mephisto. Thank you. Her movement speed is actually pretty decent too. She she runs a little funny, but uh, I guess this makes sense because she's an alien. Here you go, regular rotation there, doing about uh, about eight bars, not bad. So definitely got a little less coming up to Mephisto from uh, Noel, but that's bound to happen with anyone because Mephisto is the harder um, war boss legend, and, and we are lagging a lot, but we still get it done. We're good. We just popped skills just to push through the damage to hopefully get enough there, and uh, it did end up working out. We'll pop another regular rotation here. Do some decent damage. Um, okay, she can tank one of those, but I'm not going to ever tank another. Um, that is still good to know. Yeah, I mean, tanking this is good. And I'm pretty sure if I had just moved out of the way instead of being stuck in my skills, um, she would have uh, automatically just healed up. And, yep, that's exactly what she's doing. Yeah, I wish Star-Lord had her heal, man. I mean, Star-Lord has it at Tier 4, but it, I wouldn't have... I mean, at level 80, he would have been just fine if uh, he had the heal. Um, like Mantis. I mean, look at this. She's just tanking through it. Tanking through it like nothing. I had to script rotation a little bit. Um, I'm sure you can see some of the lag there. So, it's unfortunate, but we're good. If you didn't know, when Mephisto's Rage here, you can honestly get in a regular rotation before he rages, just like I did. It was a little laggy again, but um, you can get in a rotation when he goes in the rage in the final stage or final um, phase of the fight um, because he does take forever to finally like ramp up. Um, so you can get in uh, a rotation before he actually gets in the rage. And you got transcended rotation, doing very nicely there. Another eight or nine bars. And here we go. It's gonna be the end of the fight right here. Mantis finishing it off. Regular rotation, maybe? No, a little short. That's fine, but we'll have one more rotation here with the transcended, and that'll do it. So yeah, not the fastest, but still, still decent timing. And obviously, tanginess is huge. Did I not hit the fifth one? I did not hit the fifth one. Okay, here we go. That is 100% my bad, but it's all right. We still finish out the fight here and get the clear. She gets it done in about three minutes and 30 seconds. So yeah, not bad at all for Mantis at level 70. Pretty sweet. Obviously, like I've been saying the whole video, uh, level 80s will do anything uh, that she can do better. Um, but um, level 70s, yeah, they're just so slept on now. Um, I feel like they have to have something huge um, for characters to, or people to actually pick them up. So it's basically only supports. But the good thing is she does have um, a small passive here where she decreases basic damage received by supervillains by 30%. Um, to all allies. So that's not bad, not the best either, um, but it is still technically a sort of support. Um, so yeah, you got to take that into consideration as well. And here we go, our last fight here. We got stage nine of Gore, again, with the same exact team. Let's go ahead and see how well she can do here um, with Starler lead again and Shuri support. I could uh, have brought in Valkyrie, but I've been using Shuri. Um, so that might be the only difference you want to make uh, if you're trying to run a team with her. Um, but yeah, okay, so this is gonna be a pretty close one. The damage is enough, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be close, I'll tell you that right now. Because she is struggling a lot more than she did against Mephisto and, uh, Noel, of course, because we did skip Ultron and go straight to Gore, which I may end up regretting, uh, potentially. Yeah, the damage is just gone. It's not even, it's not even, it's not even existing anymore. I have seen people put a judgment on her, and she uh, does get more damage than with the regular proc. But I don't got a judgment around, just sitting there, so I'm, I'm not going to give her a judgment. Um, but let's see if she can clear this, because the damage has been pretty weak in this fight for some reason, compared to the other fights. I might want to bring in, try in Valkyrie instead of Shuri, and see if maybe that helps a little bit. 
Um, yeah, this is a little, looking a little, a little bleak here, and she gets stuck in that animation. Come on. Yeah, all our animations are so slow. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, yeah, this might be a problem. Come on. Get out of here. Okay, I don't want to do damage with him because he's going to absolutely obliterate Gore. Alright, let's see. Let's see how the damage looks now. Her targeting is a little off. Yeah. He's moving around so much, she's barely getting the hits in. She's just now getting hits in. And she gets stunned like crazy. Holy cow. Tankiness is there. But she's definitely has some targeting issues. Yeah, this is going to be rough, guys. Alright, she can take Gore, but I don't think she can get the clear. So we're going to do one more test on Infinity Ultron. Like I said, I'm not expecting anything huge from her. Um... Because level 70s, like I said, they they need a lot to be able to do really well. Um, and we'll go up. Uh, can she do stage 9? Let's see stage 9. Uh, if not, we'll bring it back down to 2. But here we go. I'm going to try and Valkyrie this time. And then we got to go find Mantis here. And here we go. All right, last test here. 100%, I promise this time. And then we'll wrap up the video. And we got another video coming out later today. So make sure uh, to stay tuned for that. Uh, we got a Star-Lord re-review now that we've uh, changed to CTP. Uh, so I think you guys are going to find that pretty interesting. Um, because we did have uh, a regular proc or destruction on him. Uh, and then we did end up there. Alright, yeah, she has the damage for Stage 9 of Infinity Ultron. So let's go ahead and get this fight done. And then we'll, that'll do it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on, keep on. Alright, watch, watch the Time Stone attack this tech. Attack hurts. Tell you that from first hand experience. Oh, get dodged. Okay, let me do damage. Oh, man. Okay. Cool. Let's just go ahead and go to the energy discharge, I guess. All right. Whatever, Ultron. We're 10, 11 bars in uh, within a minute. So, yeah, we can get the clear for sure here. As long as everything goes smoothly, which uh, it hopefully should. Here you go. Trance into rotation. Not bad. Not great either, but not bad. You gotta give her some credit, guys. For level 70, you gotta give him credit. These poor guys. Unless they're support, like Shuri, get no attention. So we gotta bring them a little bit of attention. That's exactly why I'm still doing this video, even though I know there's tons of videos out there on her already. And I know that not a lot of people are gonna be interested and whatnot, but we still gotta do a video for her. And Dang, okay, she takes that stone. That's okay. All right, one more try. I'm going to give her one more shot. Um, she did get absolutely crushed by the reality stone because I didn't see um, Ultron popping it. But here we go. Last try, I swear, and <laughs> we're done. <laughs> here we go. All right, transcendent rotation. Last time I accidentally started with the regular rotation, so we should be able to get a little bit more damage this time. About three, four bars there. With her regular rotation or transcendent rotation. Now regular rotation getting a little bit more off than that. There we go. Good, good. We're at 20 bars. For some reason, do not disturb turned off. That's kind of weird. Well, I apologize if you get any notification. If you guys see any of my notifications, then. Oh come on! Right when I put the transcendent, he decides to go ahead and just. Yep, uh, now's a good time to optimize. <laughs> I should have known, though, because it's back at 20 bars just like uh, the previous run. So I should have known realistically, um, but unfortunately, I did not realize that. So I didn't. I wasn't paying attention to the bars like at all. I was just so focused on getting her rotation down and making sure I get the most amount of damage out of her, to be honest. All right, all right, switch here because this is where she died last time. We'll pop uh, Valkyrie's Transcended, but I don't want to use Star-Lord because he's just going to absolutely crush and damage. Yeah, that was a good choice. Valkyrie just does about a bar. So yeah, in my review videos, I like... Okay, he optimized. I got to pop some damage here. Quick, 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 quick. Okay, that was actually some good damage before he optimized. So in my review videos, I try not to use the... Like, if I'm using a Tier 4 character or even Level 80 in the review, I try not to use them that much because I know that it'll help the clear time. When I really want to see the clear time for the individual character, 
So that's why I normally allow the support to do some damage. Because uh, the support will do enough to keep me in the fight. Um, and not make it stale. But also not too much to where they absolutely obliterate the stage. Like instantly. But here we go. Transcendent Rotation. We're down to 8 bars. 3 minutes left. Piece of cake. We got this. We just got to keep her alive. Pay attention to his attacks. And make sure that we don't get hit by any nonsense here. And it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. Stage 9. Not too shabby. Are we going to switch here? Perfect timing. We're going to pop a transcendent rotation for Valkyrie to get us. Uh, okay, we just pushed him into the discharge. So that's fine. That, that works out perfectly here. Here we go. Let's see if uh, we can pop a transcendent rotation and if it'll finish him off. It does about four or five bars. So we're going to have to make sure we proc properly and it'll be perfect. If not, we're going to have to go into a, probably another optimization and then finish out the fight from there. But either way, we finish out the fight. So here we go. I gotta pop the four quick, and they was close, but not quite. All right, that's fine. We can work with that. We can work with that. Only three bars, two minutes left. Man, that I feel like I just said it was three minutes. That time flies. Time flies, and you're having fun, huh? All right, here we go. Last rotation here. Regular rotation for Mantis to finish out the fight. Three bars. Can she do it? Yes, she can. Boom. Stage nine of Infinity Ultron done in three minutes. Not too bad. For Mantis there. She's a decent character, guys. Like I said, she's not a must-have, um, but she is a pretty fun character to play with, pretty proc-friendly. Um, so if you want uh, a character to have fun with, Mantis is definitely a great character, and she's got a little bit of a passive support. Um, but yeah, for those of you Mantis fans, not too bad. You guys definitely got a little bit better than Rocket. Unfortunately, Rocket fans got screwed over. Um, but we'll see how Groot and Gamora fans, uh, how th those turn out, because we're going to be getting that new update very soon. Uh, so make sure to stay tuned for that. We're going to have passengers videos obviously coming out and we will be live when the update drops as well. So stay tuned for all that guys. And like I said, we have another video coming out today. So make sure to go check it out as soon as it comes up. But thank you so very much for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy the level 70 tier three or transcendent, sorry, review for Mantis from the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 update. If you did, make sure to subscribe guys. Anyways, that'll do it. See you guys all in the next one. Take care guys.